everyone welcome back to my channel yay finally doing another video i know it's been a while it's been oh over it's been almost two weeks i believe um i've been super busy with work if you you may or may not know i am a school bus driver so last week was a bunch of training um things like that so it was crazy schedule um I kind of knew what I was going to be doing that day but a lot of things kept getting added to it to where I was uh, some a lot a few days last week I was waking up at probably like five o'clock or so and then I wasn't getting home until like seven o'clock at night so I was basically eating when I could which was like never <laughs> and um, just going 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 um, so that was last week it's crazy so this week we started school and it's been going really great um, still a little crazy but the schedule is finally getting back to normal to where I know what I'm doing etc over the past few weeks that I have been eating healthier blah 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 etc um, I've had a couple of people ask me questions about what I'm doing and stuff and so I thought that I would make a video on like my tips for you or your friend or whatever um, of things that I felt would be good to do beforehand to prepare yourself to get ready to go on your journey where whatever it might be it probably doesn't even have to be weight loss it could really be anything um, I think just the most important thing is to just sit down and think about your goals you know think about how you're gonna go about doing it because a lot of things especially things that um, are a lifetime change you need to kind of plan it out. I mean, you no, you can't plan it out like specifically in detail every little thing you're going to do because it's not always going to work out like that. But I feel like um, you need to kind of have an idea of what you would like to do. So I have 10 tips for you. Okay. So number one. Find your reason. Find your reason that you want to do it, okay? So, my reason for my weight loss is a lot of things, okay? A lot. Um, I really want kids, so I want to be healthy during the pregnancy, after the pregnancy. I want to be healthy and more fit to play with my children. Um, I want to, for like personal things, like for myself, I just want to be able to go anywhere and not think about my weight. That would be huge for me. Because if you, if I think about how many times I think about my weight going to a restaurant or going to a theme park or going literally anywhere, it could be a grocery store how many times I've thought about my weight and you just think people are looking at you and thinking things even though they're probably not it's just in your head so that would be very nice um, back on the theme park thing I would really like to be able to ride roller coasters again and that is something that's very very embarrassing for me and I'm nervous about putting it on the video but I'm going to anyways <laughs> um, I love roller coasters I love water parks I love all that stuff and unfortunately and it's my fault obviously I can't do that anymore so and I don't like doing that I don't want to the worst part is having your weight determine what you can and can't do and what makes you happy so that immediately needs to change 
So anyways, um, yeah, so it's just a lot of, a lot of confidence too. I want more confidence. So moving on. Number two, reflect on your past trials and think about what works best for you. So for me, I've done, I've tried to lose weight many times throughout my life. And so I think a good thing to do is to think back on what you have done before in your past, um, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. So that way, moving forward, you can make better decisions. Um, number three, what are your goals? Um, I think it's good to set goals short term and long term. Um, whether you want to do it weekly, monthly, and then of course your long term goals. Um, number four, try new things, cook foods you love, but in a healthy way. So trying new things is like food and exercise, okay? So exercise can literally be anything. It doesn't have to be, oh, okay, now I'm, I want to get healthy, I want to lose weight, or I want to get fit, or I want to get stronger. Then I have to go to a gym, I have to spend money. Not true, okay? You can go to a park, you can lift cement blocks, or <laughs> boxes. You can lift cement blocks, okay? It could just be anything. It could be going for a hike going for a bicycle. Find something that you love to do. I really, really love riding a bicycle. So that's my, one of my next big, like, or goals, I guess, is um, to get either get a bicycle or use my husband. So either one of those. Um, trying new foods. Even if you try it one way and you don't like it, try it a different way. Cook or raw however just try new things because you'll you never know number five make it fun so for instance music dancing classes um, mix it up you know um, like for me anytime that I exercise no matter what I'm doing I have to have music or really I have to have music for anything <laughs> um, so, especially when I go for walks or anything, I always have my headphones and my music because it gets me through it gets me through it and it goes by a lot quicker. So, I recommend music, dancing for like classes. You could try Zumba, which is really really fun. Um even if you have two left feet and have no rhythm, okay? So, I have a little bit of rhythm, but I definitely have two left feet, okay? And I did it and it was so much fun and you learn it and you'll get better at it and um, the people that are in the class and especially the instructor you could talk with them one-on-one um, -on -one, they should be pretty open um, luckily for me when I did some Zumba classes everyone was so so sweet and so nice and I do plan on going back and doing it a couple times I don't know how how much you know I just go by each week and see when I can do it but yeah I definitely plan on going back and doing that and so basically just mix it up don't do the same things over and over because then you're gonna get bored and you're like oh I don't want to do it because uh, you know so one day go for a walk one day go for a bike ride if you do like going to the gym go to the gym that's fine um number six have a support system in instance or for instance, <laughs> family, friends, uh, my fitness pal, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. Uh, my fitness pal uh, worked for me or helped me um, a couple years ago when I was trying to lose weight, and I really liked it. You can you can track your food, you c so it, then it tracks your calories and all that stuff. Um, you can track your exercise and then they have like forums and stuff so like you can talk to different people and you can have friends on there um, so that was really cool YouTube so um, I will 
I don't know if I will be able to link it, but I will definitely put in the description box below a few of um, my favorite healthy fitness related YouTube channels that I really, really like and the people are awesome and that I would really recommend that you check out. So I will leave that below in the description. So be sure to check that out. Um, number seven, set weekly goals for food, exercise, personal goals. So it doesn't always have to be a weight loss goal every week. You can do a personal goal. Um, like a personal goal to, I don't know, if you don't really talk to your family or something, oh well, this week it's my goal to call my dad and call my great grandparents, um, things like that. Because at least for me, I've noticed that when I get on a healthier track and I start doing things that make me feel really good and make me feel really be a lot better, um, that you know gives me more energy and stuff you're gonna improve your personal life whether you realize it or not so this is just another way to help boost that faster um, so those are some personal goals um, exercise goals food goals number eight say and think positive to yourself daily which is very important because I'm sure all of you know we have that little person in the back of our head that talks um, bad about yourself. And sometimes you don't even realize it. So um, it's very important to every day maybe give yourself a pep talk or something. Or when you do, if you do happen to realize that your mind is saying, not great things about yourself stop it and be like literally like sometimes I'll just I'll say I'll say out loud stop it like you're being dumb you are trying you're doing better you're bettering yourself you know blah blah, blah things like that okay so just try to think positive as much as possible um, but what really helps with that too is, like I said before, having the support system of family, friends, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. That'll help a lot. Um, number nine, keep a journal, food log, video, calendar, social media, um, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, this will help a lot of people out, um, like keeping a food journal to uh, keep track of your calories, things like that. Um, food log, which is something you could do like on my fitness pal or something. Um, make some videos, uh, keep a calendar around. Um, you can mark ahead of time to like plan your weeks. So like on a calendar, you can mark, okay, Tuesday and Friday, I'm going to Zumba or I'm going, these are the days that I'm going for a walk. And so when that day comes, no matter what, you have to do it on Tuesday and Friday, you know, whenever you do it, um, things like that. But sometimes people, it helps people, it helps me writing things down and seeing it for yourself, like seeing it on paper. That helps me a lot. I literally write everything down. I always have a journal and a pen. I always have that with me. Um, number 10, don't put so much pressure on yourself. No time limit to weight loss. This is your whole life. Enjoy your life and food. So this one is a big one. For me, I notice that when I put a lot of pressure on myself, then I get mad. And <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Um you have to realize that you know it didn't take one day to put on a hundred pounds it's not going to take one day to take it off and i am now 23 years old tuesday was my birthday i'm 23 years old and at least for me i've been i've been overweight since i was a child 
so um so you could say for me all my life I've been overweight and I've ate unhealthy and I've done unhealthy things so you know it's safe to say that for the rest of my life it's gonna be a struggle it's gonna be a learning process um, like you know I said there's no time limit to your weight loss this is your whole life that's why I do not call it I'm, I do not tell people I'm on a diet I do not I do not let myself think that way um, the way that I think about it is I'm eating healthier and doing things um, you're basically re -te teaching your body your mind and everything um, to do things differently and to think differently and that's gonna take time um, so my last little note for you is to love yourself and stay positive so if you have any questions or anything um, leave a comment for me and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd you're like to see light, more the and night, thanks for watching you're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing I want to touch. Never knew that it could.